All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Some of these girls ain't ratchet. Or how we made some of these girls ratchet. Got home, watching one of these crazy-ass talk shows. And they booed a little young girl, teenager, running wild, pregnant, partying. And everybody was dumping on her. And then she says, look, I've been, I was taken away from my mother probably before I was two. For the last five years, I've been in 40 different foster care homes. I've been abused. I've been beat. I've been tampered with, which, you know, tampered with probably means. And I, I, she had a baby. She dropped out of school. Um, and her family was getting on her about what she needed to do with her life. And she was like, when I was doing all the right things, wasn't nobody supporting me, but now I'm doing all the wrong things. Y'all dragging me down here to get on the talk show. And even the crowd had to stop booing. Had to stop talking crazy to her. Because that's very valid. Like some of these girls out here, I wouldn't have have entitlement issues and they ratchet as hell but some of these girls out here have had a hard life and just like a, a, a young guy who doesn't know how to control his anger or get it all out of his system or to you know to do focus or direct his energy and it's misguided and it just explodes into you know a powder keg of all kinds of crazy shit same thing happens with the girls. And um problem is just like with the guys, everybody's mixed in the same same pot. Like you don't know, you really can't tell who's who until you get to know everybody. But nobody really wants to get to know somebody who's acting buck wild. Like that's just, you know, that's the way it is. So at the end of the day, I got to say that, you know, Sometimes, man, as a group, as a community, we got to know that some of these people out here are fucked up because they just black-hearted people. But there's some of these people out here who are just hurt, misguided, angry, bitter people of the cause they were dealt in the life that they've lived. This girl was no more than, she was 16 years old. Drinking, partying, coming in and out whenever she wants to. And her mother was allowing it, which was another whole little dynamic that, you know, sometimes I see these, you know, sometimes I see these mothers who are bad parents. And they allow their kids to do bad shit. Because they, they guilt got them. Because they knew they put these kids in a wild predicament and now the kids are dealing with it on their own and they're not really able to tell them which way to go because they just ain't got it together. So, I mean, at the end of the day, people like that, man, I understand. I feel for you, you know. You ever go through a moment? And you happen to pop up on this video, I'll holla at you. You know, but for those people who just spoil brats, who trying to act the same way, faking it so it makes it look all the same because you just want to get your way and you just not right, go jump off a cliff. Because people like that are not really, that, that really need true help are the kind of people that should get true help or should get a listening ear or should get understanding like girls like that should really get a chance to vent out their angers and frustrations and they should get people who are willing to help them work through their problems because 16 a teenager well, this is a boy or girl, but I mean, I'm talking about girls right now. 
you don't need to be in a predicament like that and feel like you got nothing. Because to a degree, a boy could feel like, you know, he could protect himself. But girls, it takes them a long time to really completely feel as if they could really, sorry about that, they can really, really protect themselves from the world. And I don't think they all could fully believe that they can all the way. So, for young girls like that, man, I apologize if I ever offended you in any way, personally, you know. But, um, need someone to, to get you through a tough time, holler at me. I'll make, I'll make a video or something. I'll let you know what, which way to go. Anonymous, all that other stuff, man. I'm not tripping. All right, and I do got a degree in psychology. I just never tell nobody that. So trust me, I know ways to get through things. Peace.